Dobrý den, Farbhaj. You remember the phrase, that's good. But there is something to be said about... Uh, yeah, if you, if you say Dobrý den, the den actually means uh, day. So if it's evening, you would say, like, in, even in English you have good day, basically the same thing. And then you have good evening, if it's evening. So in Czech it would be Dobrý večer. Sank that points into the van. I suspect I know who it is. Washington. Ah. Should listen to my interpretation of the map first before, before dumping all the points into it. I assume so, but then it was the only chicken. <laughs> yeah, no problem. I was just uh, making that clear. Actually, it's not true. I know you have more points. I do. I think you are holding some of them back. But smart decision. You shouldn't really dump everything into these predictions. It would make some people very happy. But you shouldn't do it. Okay. Let's get rid of the browser source. And. Today we'll be playing a custom map from Sister 3 Haven and it's called Valis Fotorum or Valley of Fate. It has been made by someone who is named Garp. Check has some similarities with Polish, right? Yes, it does, but uh, the closest language is actually Slovak language. Better one day, yeah. Excellent. So, yeah, if you take a look at the map, it's uh, ragged as hell, which is good. Probably won't allow us to build fairly standard blocks. Good. We start with insane amount of money though, so there must be a uh, work to it, right? I actually don't know. So, we are at Taraco. Cartagonova. Another land trade route for Medellanum. And then Rome and Capia are roads. Take a look at raw resources. Clay pits and iron mines. And for farms we have wheat, vegetables, fruits, olives and vines. And if you take a look, we don't actually need to get any favor to win this map. And that is probably not a coincidence. It's because our salary is actually zero. We will lose favor like crazy. This is a map where you fight Caesar. And it's a heavy military one as well. I'm gonna read the instructions. You have you have spent most of your governorial life building great cities of Rome for that rival to even the capital itself in prosperity and elegance. You have risen as a hero of citizens and you find yourself contending for the throne. Unless you discover that your intentions for Rome, however great and pure, may not be enough, especially to wetting eyes abound. Not long, you find yourself victim of political persecution by the Emperor himself, and you are forced to leave your very home, with which uh, you helped build. Okay, a little bit of broken English here, so go with me. Uh, those loyal and know you well follow you, whatever your future may hold. Their trust is them once again to great glory. In our information, this map consists of three parts. The western part is where the fertile grounds of the valley is shortest. It is also easy to set up a harbor against sea trader. However, be on your toes as invasions will be near to your city. 
The northern part offers a good area to expand your growing city to. It has access to plenty of farmlands, albeit located on a dangerous path. The eastern part is where the local natives have settled themselves. One specified trade may be lucrative, however, the uh, land area may prove a bit insufficient for our plans. Tips. The terrain is very rugged, and although fertile land is quite plentiful on the mountains, it is often in the path of danger. There are many invasion points. Invasions start uh, with scores of enemies. Few years. Two hundreds of them coming from multiple entry points. Don't underestimate the numbers and fortify defenses. The army at once. Although you are uh, already banished from Rome, you are still considered a subject. Knowing your background, the emperor will make unjust requests. Expect to file these. Be attacked by Rome. Okay. This is a civil war. Uh, map, basically. Fine. At least the dead is never gonna be an issue, though. So, where is the uh, road from Rome, even? This is the exit point. Uh, is it land traders will take absolute eternity? Uh, I don't see it. Must be somewhere. Verges. Okay, so there's this big winding path they need to take. And also, I think it's disconnected. Hey Zara, welcome. What is this abomination? Yeah, good question. Uh, what the abomination? There are wolves in there. Not good. Uh, is this even connected? I think it's not connected. Here? Oh yeah, there is a disconnection path. Okay. It's up these stairs and then... Uh, here and over here and through here and here. Uh, it's quite a path, so land trade is gonna be basically a no-go, I think. Where do we even build our city? I suppose the first part <coughs> might be here, but... There's gonna be a problem with the water. Might have to build a reservoir here and then you could still access this. Okay. Hmm. There's fertile land. We cannot. Can we fish? Yes. There's fish in here. It's all cut off from the start, right? No. Not really. The, the wolves can still go after us. We should just build a palisade wall. Just pull them out. And then... Where are these numerous invasion points? Yeah, it's here, all the edges. But there are entrances like that. I suspect this might be one as well. There. There. And uh, probably somewhere around here, yeah. There, and this might be something, but we don't know. This could be one. Uh, this is gonna be difficult, okay. Carve into this. Yeah, they might get lost in the woods, which is actually terrible because it will impact your immigration. If they get lost and never find their city, you know, it's copper. <sighs> okay, what do we build here? I, I'm gonna just get rid of all the trees. I have the mana. But... It's gonna be an irregular block for sure.
Medias. Okay. How does even like how does the server look when we build oh there are freaking rocks in here okay so if I were to build it here it's gonna block everything in I could maybe make a bridge a bunch of bridges to be able to reach this it's the only way to get water to it I think unless I build it here and then bring the aqueduct in here But even having it here could be fine. I think I'm gonna do it. Hey, Madam Spurna, welcome. Welcome to this, whatever this is. Ah, uh, the food is gonna have to come from here, so I cannot do that house. some houses right around here. I'm gonna have to do it slowly because map is quite I get. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to squeeze in as many houses in here as humanly possible. A lot of one by one tiles not what we like to see. Also there is uh this is northern map so I'm gonna probably underinvest into prefectures and then Inevitably get a huge uh, gladiator uprising. I do suspect it's gonna happen. So, what people move in? It's gonna take them a while. What do we even export? I think the land trade routes are basically like not even gonna do anything. Because it's just. It will take them ages to get anywhere. I think we, also, we are still going to start with that, but. There is very little chance it's gonna actually do anything. Hmm. I should pick natives on my. Also. And um, we could make some weapons over here. Try to sell them to the land later out, I guess. Is there a better place to do it? Probably not. Okay, yeah, that's what we are gonna use our labor for, though. We are going to struggle to make these anything, basically. Even insula is like small insula is gonna be a big task of this era. How much population do we need? 9,000. I think that's doable. I have to leave this space for. And it's gonna be uh, amphitheater. about it, what we can fit in there, I think. One house there, but... Oh, yeah, we 
I go to walk this one. Just gonna have to remove it. It can be theater or something. At some point. Fine. Now we will struggle with unemployment. Do some iron mines. Oops. Yeah, it would be great to pacify the natives eventually. Eventually I'm gonna do it. We try to do it now. Might get the labor. They would trade with us. At least that's a regular income. Let's get a mission post. Warehouse for the weapons. We'll need to go up here. Close to the natives. Not that possible. Space for extra workshop in there. I'm gonna do an engineer. And we should both look this off. I'm going to accept weapons. Might sound a little bit tired today, so I apologize for that. But it is. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna have trouble watering that guy, I think. No, that one could be done if these merge. You do have the crash of plaza, right? Yeah. Got put this with plaza. This one almost does it, but just build it here. And then one in here, I think. And then another one no, with these guys. Both are unhappy, yeah, I totally forgot about the gods. They will need their things. So. We need to consider what kind of grand temple we want to build. Okay, we can put an amphitheater in there, so another temple is possible. I'm going to do a Venus temple, I think. And then the rest of them need to go where else. Where do the other temples go? Until I have a jump such up. That's a good housing space. It's gonna be difficult. <laughs> Where do we place the temples? This is fertile land, so we shouldn't be able to build it there. I could set something up in here. And do it. expand the industry. I think we can sell quite a bit of weapons. Money is not probably not gonna be a big issue. Caesar's inevitable attacks will be a problem and the enemy presence should be heavy. So military is gonna be a problem. I just don't have good space to put forts in. All of this is probably gonna be used for housing. I'm gonna have to figure out where do we want our forts. I think this area actually can it have water? Yes it can. Uh, okay. I could fit in the population along here though, I think. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. Because I'm gonna have trouble placing the forts. 
Maybe this is a good space to do it. This cannot have water. Yeah. Where the forts need to go. Okay, so another fountain. Need to do that. And then we have a bunch of houses in here. But I'm gonna have problems to place down even theater and a school. So maybe we get rid of them. But Nine thousand, yes. Open up Cartago Nova. Start selling them weapons. And the natives should buy our weapons. And then there is another native and another native. Yeah, this map is not gonna be easy, I don't think. How is our unemployment doing? How many more people can we fit into the city? Hmm, like half population or uh, still not enough to pacify this guy, I don't think. And is this guy gonna trade with us? He has the option to do it, I think. It's just he didn't do it yet. Concerning. Come on, I just... Maybe he's gonna do it when there are four pieces. Uh, you should invest some money into making food. Is there a fishing point? Yes. Well, let's take a look at this. Uh, let's do this. Have to clean it up. These bridges, you cannot make those. I can make one here. Uh, might be fine to low bridge some of this. One by one pile. Uh, one, two. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna impact my warp space. And if I do it there, can I bridge over this? No. You can only get to there. We get on this island. Only this bridge is possible. Okay, it's gonna be inefficient for the fish. I'm gonna do farming initially. Let's get a granary there. I'm going to accept what can we farm? Eat vegetables. Yeah, we should do vegetables. Not a central map. You cannot get uh, more food out of this. Also, these little water tiles are gonna make it difficult. Place things effectively. Might have done it differently. I think we have the money, we should just try to make it as effective as possible. I'll leave a tile there. Engineer, connect this up and then gonna create a connection here. Yeah, now we are missing employment. Okay, we are still having some people move in. Is he gonna buy my weapons? Why is the native not trader? It might be that the spawning point for him is somewhere here. I could try to replace the mission post as well. Just if I blocked it with my stuff. No, I think he placed the field exactly where the trader spawns. No, it's up here. Okay, uh, that means I'm gonna replace this 
better house like this. Because you can get to it quickly. Now I need some food, so let's fight. A lot of still moving in. Up to vegetables. Mistake. Done it sooner. And done a few markets. And we'll need to start on our military pretty soon, I think. Now this should be fine to evolve all the way up to small castle. So when we get casa, we could even tax them, I think. We don't have any other housing in the city, which is fine. Get some money. Okay, so we should expand the production as well, once we get the labor. We should get a bunch of people in here. It's gonna be a few people at a time. They have a bunch of space, but it's only gonna send one immigrant to each house. It takes a long time for them to move in. So, the expansion is gonna be slow. And we'll need some labor for military as well, eventually. But I would like another mine. And a few more workshops first. Should split this off. We try to trust this. But you know how it is when you trust things, it always goes wrong. But this single engineer, it, ha it has very limited places to go. Maybe you can do it. This guy already hates the market. Get a statues would do him very, very good. And then. How is the risk for collapsing? I think the architect is, or the engineer is managing to go everywhere, basically. Still hates where he lives. Okay. That helped. Maybe do a few Larari. Eh? But we cannot have anything else. Gonna help out against the gods a little bit. Okay, we'll need to give them bathhouse. At some point, I just don't know where am I gonna build it. And have spaces for it. I'm gonna remove one of the tents. Do it. And then we could try to make them happy just with an amphitheater. I don't want to build gladiators because I'm... Like, all the maps we've played recently, everywhere, we had a freaking gladiator evolve. And this is like a map that I suspect there is gonna be one. And you don't even have prefects because it's a northern map. So... It would be absolutely devastating. That's why I'm gonna try to do only actors, I think. But first they would want pottery anyway, so we might try to do that. Let them move in. So is the native trading with us? Yes. We could bump up this production even more. It just make us money. Uh, but more importantly, military. I shouldn't really be afraid of that too much because Caesar is gonna be unpleasable on this map. We can just go ham and uh, full rebel setter. Another way to do it. And we cannot even bridge over this. So just build a supply post in here. Yeah. Build a roadblock. That off. Roadblock that off. Create its own engineer. There. Then you'll need barracks. Native traders have sound in Augustus. 
I don't think they do. More pages. Okay. Click on it. No, one beard. Doesn't say anything. No voice lines. They haven't added voice lines. That's unsurprising. Uh, okay, we need to make more food. Take a look at this. I could create an offshoot. Uh, what about the natives? Okay, natives are still far. That's okay. Farm this heavily and need a roadblock. Then I am entering. We only need to make military in here. Uh, having barracks close to this would be actually beneficial. This is all fertile though. So, uh, not great. I could build it here, I think. Take a look at the farm. Oh, we can farm this. Mm. Yeah, I suppose I could have the barracks in here. Yeah, so many natives. It's also a lot of trading huts though, so we can just make a bunch of money through that and we don't really need to trade with anyone else, basically, if we use all of them. We also started with a silly amount of money. Okay, so the supply post has managed to steal some food. Let's clear this food. Start placing some forts. And we should maybe, yeah, do a military academy right off the bat. Hmm, actually, I don't like it there. I should try to expand this into this area. Military academy. Keep some spaces for future temples. Here, how does it look? 4x4. Four four. If this blows a 4x4, four four, oh, you must try this native as well, okay. Just bring it around like that, fine. And I should replace the barracks. Build it right there. Create another offshoot. Looks like we are struggling a little bit on food. And I don't mind blocking this staircase off. So just do that. I'm missing a lot of workers, but we should have the space. It's just taking ages because only one immigrant per house. Leave it to run for a little bit. Population milestone. Get some evolutions. Only weapons. And these guys are most likely not gonna be able to deposit and come back efficiently. 28, 33%, 38, 43. Okay, I think they've managed to do it. Like, it's peak efficiency. But expanding any further, it's gonna hinder that. So now we finally have some free workers again. Not many of them, but some. Who we'll have the weapons. Uh, 
and at this point we should probably create an engineer here. Now we should maybe try to get some clay going, get some pottery. It's gonna be a problem there though. Just make some clay in here, I guess. The pottery. Uh, yeah, once you get more unemployment, do that. Also, the fort. It's almost full. Granada is full. Good, we can support a bigger population. Off of this. Let's try to get some clay going. Better workshops. Then a better house right there. We need to accept water. And we are gonna bring some of it here. Don't trade it. Uh, do a plaza for this guy. Play Lararium him as well. Oh no, okay. Walked the road to Rome. It's fine though. I didn't have any aqueducts, so didn't really screw up with anything of mine. Gods might become unhappy soon. How many Lararii do we have? 14? For 140 extra people. Oh no, it did do something. It removed my house in here. And here. Okay. Yeah, that's why we have unemployment. Or, uh, we like workers. Try to get an amphitheater. And an actor's colony. Where do we build it? So, uh, uh, I guess it can be here. You know, to connect this up. Okay, these guys are not getting their water. I'm gonna give them a bell. For that Let's see about the entertainment. Oh yeah, they will want potter as well. We need to wait until it's manufactured. What about our forts? Do another one and can get uh, creating some weapons in here if we get the labor surplus. The hundred people are still moving in. Not a lot. It's not enough. We'll need more. Okay, they brought some pottery. 50 weapons, yeah, that's not happening. Caesar's requests are gonna be absolutely obnoxious and you cannot fulfill any of them. So, yeah, in this map, this is a civil war map, basically, you have to fight Caesar. There is no way around that. Also, I just built on native territory, so let's just uh, move it. Okay. Who's Mercury? Yeah, okay, let's get him. Mars and Venus. Let's see. They will want entertainment. Oh, I'm gonna have to give them gladiators. I don't want to give them gladiators. It's gonna be horrible. I could uh, try an arena. That with lions. Maybe that's gonna be enough.
here yeah, 15 more bullets, not happening. Caesar is gonna be best. Okay, it looks like it might be enough. Uh, what about our army? Yeah, I'm gonna need another fourth of javelins. And if we ever want marble, where do we buy it from? We buy it from Mediolanum. Yeah. We do have timber and clay, right? No, we would need timber from someone. Ah, the breast can by C. Okay. The dock can be built in here. He's trading with weapons. He has some problems with markets. Ah, uh, not doing their stuff. Oh yeah, it's because of this freaking road. Always, they always spawn on the wrong side. I give them a chance. Fix that real quick. Yeah, will evolve. Then everything is gonna be fine. It insulate access, I think we'll be okay. These guys might need extra desirable letter. And some statues. Can offset our costs quite a bit. We could trade more weapons if we wish, but we don't have labor to do it right now. Should think about setting up another block. What we need to do. Take a look at the housing capacity. We can accommodate a bunch more people, but they are just not gonna come in here. What about this? Is this safe? Sort of, right? I think the enemy could come through there if we clear it, but otherwise they will try to go this way. That's fine. Get this up for fighting in. So this could be a very good housing block site, I think. Could also fish in here, which should be great. Cannot use the wood for anything, so no point saving that up. Native. Uh, I don't want to pacify him. If I can help it. Can maybe do a standard sized block. Nice boss, yeah, maybe too, too nice, too nice. Easy to get things done in here, I think. If there is an earthquake, most likely gonna happen here. I know anything about earthquakes, and I do know quite a bit. This is like a perfect place where I would try to ruin someone's fun. Because there's still a bunch of space we could have expanded elsewhere. So, yeah. Say that. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. If it happens, it happens. When life gives you oranges, you die. Simple. You know, accept your fate. Get a barber in here as well. Get the puppets in the set here. Gonna take them a little while. A little while. It'll take them years to get here. Oh yeah, and Caesar is gonna get progressively more pissed. But that's fine. Also make sure we have another four. Gonna be like four javelins for now. And then I should think about making legionaries, but for that I would need a lot of labor because I cannot uh, get any of these weapons to these guys. So we are selling all of that. So I can make more in here and sell it, and then also give it to the barracks. Yeah, 
pile in more people. They might die from disease. Augustus. Take a look at watering these scrubs. Oh, I'm gonna have to be done from uh, here. But then I'm gonna have to push this reservoir out. But I think. Maybe not. Maybe it will reach everyone. Yeah, it will. Okay. You cannot build houses on this side. Which that should be fine. Yeah, Caesar is not happy, and he's never going to be happy on this map. There's nothing I can do about that. Now, they will want food. Uh, I, I think we should give them uh, fish. But we are gonna have to figure out... This, uh, yeah, this island can have a bunch of dwarves, right? Punch. Stretching it. Can we even have a road? No. Uh, I would have to bridge this. That. So I would have to move my reservoir by like two tiles. Still okay. Get rid of this bridge. Get that wharf. Okay. Gonna get on. Right. Uh, on this side we could have like two. It's not a lot of fish. We're gonna have to also give them other things. But at least we have something, I guess. We also need to think about shipyard. Where did we build it? Um, I could just have it here, I guess. And give it its own road for now. Then I'll need a granite. Also, this side is really bad for food. I didn't like how this is uh, looking. Okay, let's just get the granite there. Oh no, it cannot be there. Cannot be there. Okay. Just three wharfs. Well, that's not good. Set up another granite then. We could have farmed this. That could have even been better, right? <laughs> it's just so bad. Okay. Uh, no, don't build it there. I'm going to accept fish. Roadblock. Plaza is grabs up. Have the money to do it. Okay, we need more people, then we can finally start using the labor for something else. Now this has to be like this. Then we should do something that's never done and that's split up what this granary will accept. Okay. 
vegetables, be trading of something. I didn't care about that. The markets in here. Going to get water, sixteen of it. To we'll start watering them soon. If we didn't have this one, we'd have watered them with two fountains only. Gonna do that. Replace this with a theater. Cool going. Get them an arena and get them a line house. Gotta statue this up. A soulless block. It's gonna accommodate like two and a half, three thousand people. Need to give them a bathhouse, which that is going to be a little bit of a problem. Which is replaced the theater. Bathhouse and then theater can go somewhere over here. Yeah, I have the natives fine. I'm just building on the extent of their reach. I'm cautious about that. I cannot really pacify them yet. I didn't have the labor. Now we have some. We could just do these guys. Yeah, it's okay. I was keeping an eye out for that because that can be really terrible. Of course. Okay, let's just get her out. Going there. See if he pacifies them all. And then I think the native trader is gonna spawn on that upper side. The perfect place for the freaking warehouse would be here. Which means I'm gonna have to also shift this mission post. Somewhere. It's gonna be there and then it's gonna connect up to this road. It's gonna come up. There. Gonna be a warehouse. What weapons? And then we'll have some mines in here. Mm. I can just mine on uh, the other side of this rock. I don't need need the mines to be there. But like three mines. I'm gonna get like loads of weapons. I need six. I uh, need one more. Just build it there. I'll connect it up. I'll block it off. Get an engineer. I should trade with the natives this way. Also, I should stretch this just to make absolutely sure none of the natives are pissed. They are pissed and suffer. Let's get a roadblock going there. Connect this up to our barracks road. Roadblock that as well. Yes. Ah. I know. Dance hate this. But we are getting insulate, which is good. Only problem is we are not having enough food in here. So I'm gonna just make more farms. Vegetables. Fish is certainly good. But we just cannot get enough of it. Make it work properly. Okay, let's create another road. Yes. Actually, we can just connect it up to the. Would be better. Get it to do it 
like that. I would lock it and get its own engineer. I cannot interact with this loot. Would be terrible. So yes, more food. Gonna be necessary and then we should do a legionary fort. Don't pay even more wages. Gonna eventually be crushing, but for now it's fine. It's absolutely full of food. So we need yeah, a bunch of weapons. I should even expand this operation. So getting any legionaries is gonna be a little bit of a problem. Yeah. Rex has gotten some weapons, but it's taking it ages. We should try to import marble and timber. And I think I've built on a dock spot, so we would get another dock in here on this side. Or we could dock here, but that's very close to the enemies. I only need a little bit for the monuments, I think. But I need to also think about like where do I even build the freaking monuments. My guess would be somewhere in here, then keep this upper area for housing. How much prosperity do we need? 70, that's not a lot at all. We'd probably do it without patricians. Also, these guys will have two types of food. So it should be fairly straightforward. Get them to be better. But forgetting their furniture is gonna be a problem. You don't produce timber locally. Have to import that. So this is a duck spot, right? But I don't really think I can use that very well. I'd have to scrap all of this food production. Get it. Instead, we should make the dock on the other bank. Can we do a ship's bridge? Can have one there. We should clean this up. Then we'll need a dock. Warehouse, what can we sell by sea? I don't think we can. We need to sell anything basically. Let's just get a warehouse. We'll be accepting timber. Cool. It's gonna accept it after we actually have the option to trade it. Get it. I'm gonna open up the sea trade route. So, it's gonna be. Give us timber. I'll accept it. And then we'll need. Yeah, it's fine. Then we'll need a warehouse that's gonna accept marble as well. The marble imports should go preferably before my exports. Since I'm gonna have to build it here. Uh, the other trader out, I think. Yeah. Open it up. Board marble is gonna accept marble. And. Monument construction. Right. We should set it up in here. Have some money, so. Fine. Labor is not that great just yet, but we'll get more people. Get several warehouses to get things. Then we'll need clay pet. Not there. Two of them should be enough. Gonna get marble. No traders, please. Get marble. So if temper marble clay. Next up we'll need Rock Camp. Architect skilled. And then a monument. I'll have to think about what to do first. It's probably get on Temple to Mars. Who are we kidding? This map is gonna be absolutely brutal. Getting invaded by Caesar all the time, as well as the other 
enemies is gonna be ruthless. So I'm gonna have to do that. And I suspect I might have to build it here on this farm, but I don't think I, can, I will use it for farming. It'll be nice and safe. Hopefully. Let's start doing that. I think I will get uh, another warehouse. I'm gonna get marble in here. Just need so much. Okay, and money could be a little bit of a problem since we are importing a bunch of things, but hopefully the weapons are gonna offset that eventually. And the taxes as well. So, legionaries are getting here. Gonna do another javelin fort. Right on the edge of the natives. Another legionary fort. I have max. Finally, he's below 10 favor. He's gonna come at us from here. Constantly. Uh, he's gonna follow the same path as our immigrants. I'm willing to... Yeah, this map is a civil war map. You cannot really appease him. We have a bunch of requests that happen very early on and all of them are for bulk things. You cannot do. It's set up in a way, so you have to do it. Go away. Go messages. And there are some here. Next up, we are gonna have to clean up some of this for us to make us be able to shoot at the bad people. Now, it would be great if we could also cover another point, the towers, but I'm not sure if there is an invasion point on the road from Rome. There are definitely points elsewhere. to get a bunch of timber in here. I also don't have a clay warehouse. We should just accept some clay in here. 16 and 16 marble. And let's see if we have enough income. Yeah, the natives are not able to buy up all of it. I mean, it's fine. I can just make myself some new pets. Build a single uh, mission post. Then let's get some extra mines going. I need to or more. Uh, I'm gonna have to leave that staircase open as well. Four. Two and not fine, but not that. Discovered by a single architect, uh, engineer. We should split it just to be safe. Don't want any bad things to happen. Full of weapons, fine. We'll pacify this guy as well since we are doing that.
could just make them come from the other side. That's certainly an idea. I think I like it. Mana is, mana is not a problem. These are S. Okay. We need to create a place where we will fight Caesar. He's gonna come through these paths. I think we'll fight him in here. We should bring our guys in here. can keep it filling. One of them is not full yet. Fine. At least they are coming right away. I was afraid a little bit they would just stand around a lot. Would not be good for our immigration at all. How's our housing advisor? We can still fit like a thousand people in here. Fine. There is an enemy attack coming from there. Oh, okay. There's a path through here anyway. I would like them to do that. I wouldn't like them to come here. Suppose I could try to wall this off. And then see what happens. If they opt to go for this or that, that would be perfect. I probably will be able to tell right away. These boys are running. Uh, what about the natives? Or the cartage units? Okay. The yeah, they will break through this wall. Hey, let's see to welcome. Yeah, this is a civil war map. Anything else you are laughing about? You have to do this. There's no other way. You cannot have nice things. Yeah, it's Cartaginians. Of course, they will have elephants. Oops. Are they going to smash my towers? No. Yes, maybe. Okay. Leave them to it. This is getting done. Have the other four tried it as well. Yeah, I think they are running, so let's go back to four. It didn't feel safe like, at all. Just clear this forest out so we can actually shoot at the bad people. Get a little more fish in here. That would probably be helpful to keep these guys having two food types. Which, uh, it will be necessary, I think. We want to make them better eventually. I might do. Cannot get over there. One. I bridge over there. I could have had two of these. Yeah, that's not gonna happen, I think. One. Also, this is just... <laughs> yes. Okay. Do a look there. Engineer. Similar RDI. I'm going to accept fish. And we should try to manufacture some... I'm not sure about I've set up my stuff all the way in here. Maybe we do like in timber, 16 furniture, and then we can relocate these things. 
Virtual workshops. To set up a uh, warehouse for furniture. Wine house has to be moved. This goes here. It should go with a different rotation. Right there. Get furniture. In pieces is fine. I'll need to eventually gift them to freaking gladiators, even though I don't really want to. How long have we been here? I need to take a look at when the map starts. And I cannot... Okay. Hmm. I'm sure the Gladiator will, if that is one, it's gonna happen pretty soon, most likely. I would like a Temple to Venus, to make sure that that does not happen. Get the entertainment differently. I could get... Can we grow our own vines? Yeah. We could get some vine and we have fish. We could give them a tavern. We give them the furniture as well. Be helpful. Let's set up vines. Farms. Then we can have another warehouse. Just be accepting. Uh, this is uh, not great. The road, of course. But I don't care about this staircase. We can have a warehouse in here. That is going to accept the vine. Set up getting. If it's uh, very even efficient, I will probably do it. Most likely gonna be very inefficient. We'll see. We should do a tavern. Uh, I need to do it instead of. Yeah, I'm gonna shift the barber. And then I had some one by one tile as well there. So let's do clinic. Okay, right. And then. Um, can fit a tavern in here. People are gonna hate it, of course. With this one, I'm gonna have to give him things. And we should make our own oil as well. Native is not pacified. Just stretch this road that's uh, doing that. Still lacking marble, I bet. to shift this road to bring it on the other side, otherwise the farms might spawn in a very uh, wrong spot. Yeah, do some workshops for oil. Ah, uh, not really great. Okay, let's do that, and then this uh, furniture warehouse is gonna also accept 16 oil. Attacks again, yeah, Caesar is gonna constantly come after us. The goal would be to set up so many towers that it will chew up his legions even without us actually interacting with anything. It would have been the perfect thing. 
Not bother. Which that will be a problem, I think. Let's can get some cheeky guitars around here. One of the guards is not happy. The specific guard. Just Maris is charmed because he's getting a grand temple. Could just get a bunch of small temples somewhere. I don't really use this space for anything. Are not here yet. They're taking absolute ages to arrive. These boys have been seen off, but the attacks are gonna get absolutely insane. So eventually, we'll need even more towers to hold this off. And how are we doing on oil and furniture? Yeah, they have that. Let's get them a library. Then I'm gonna have to give them an amphitheater and an actress colony. Actors colony has to go somewhere. And he'll really have a very good space for it. I could try to shift this road. It might free up some space. Not a lot of space, but some space. Okay, yeah. Works, I guess. Try to evolve them. They should have access to everything they need, yes, okay, just maybe some desirability. Got a bunch of Lararia. No, no villas please, no villa, no, it's gonna cause me to lose a bunch of employment. Ugh, okay, what are they happening? And this thing collapses, okay. Let's do an engineer. Boss, fine workshop. Fine farm. No. Don't do it. Fine. Now we need the villas to degenerate again. <laughs> Gonna take a while. There is an enemy army coming from the road to Rome. From Rome, rather. Set up our forces again. I'm gonna clear up these trees for better lines of fire. The last gonna be tonight, yes. Right. Just need some desirability for these guys. You guys also don't have it. Try to get some medium statues. That might help a little bit. So I should think around with it a little bit more. Get a big one, I think. Try to do that. Might help them. Yeah, okay. Another enemy army is coming from there. I hope they will come through here. Some of these things. They go for this, it's gonna be a problem. You can outweigh all the attacks 
from this map. Also, they are just not moving. They might be stuck. Is there a blocker? Oh yes, I think they cannot get through this. Well, I'm gonna scupper my immigration if I leave them there. But I think it's okay. Eventually Caesar is gonna come back and then he will share morale with them, so he will morale break with <laughs> I don't care. Bunches of weapons. That is good. Not good is our employment level. Take a look at... Yeah, 700 people can move in. Taxes are fine. Should do a temple to Neptune next. I just have it here. Oh, I think I'm gonna build it just here. I'll say for all of this again. It's actually blocked off. Please. This might be us. I think Mapmaker has made a severe error. I can't just be here and they cannot do anything to me. They can move through this, but then they cannot pass this. Well, I'm completely safe. In here, that is. You cannot really that, but if I don't, if I am careful, I can just build whatever I want here without any threat. Uh, Neptune. Mm, I don't need that staircase. Fine. What I really need is more marble. Let's get another marble warehouse. Yeah, eventually when the Caesar comes, yeah, he's gonna share the morale with the bad people, therefore he should route very quickly. Should be able to see him off very quickly and then all the Carthaginians should also route. You also should get, instead of Ceres, you should get a nap Neptune Temple in here, and then take a look at that then. And I replace Neptune with Ceres. Come on, Caesar. Okay, it's a lot. Are they routing as well? No. Maybe they don't share what I would see. But I'm still not willing to open that up just for them. Let's do that. 120 marble. Mm. There is a possibility to get up here. It's open anyway, so that's fine. Need to not break any crucial choke points. Uh, what's holding them back? It's something over here, right? Yeah, these things. Clean that up. Then we will try to get a tower close to the enemy to build. Let's get a tower here. I shoot at the bad people. We can try a second one as well. Cut wolves. Yeah, we should eventually. Need that up and a unit. Make sure. Also, I've almost made a mistake, I think. Grand Temple is done. We can up with it. Of course, it's gonna be priests to reduce consumption of stuff. And then. I don't think I can get a second temple in here, but goods is just pottery, and I don't care about that. It's gonna be most important for this block. 
they already have Mars. But the most crucial thing is actually getting... I'm gonna get a mounted unit. And a travel unit. And I'm gonna get another legionary unit. And then another travel unit. That would be it. I think. Be able to build more. No. Where are the boats? Up here, it's two units of them. Okay, I needed them to rotate. Start checking pointistics at them. There is another pack in there. Giblin is going <laughs> intercontinental. through there. It is actually fine. Just go back. And then we'll need to pile our units. I'm gonna pile them in here, I think. So our towers can actually support. Stressful. I actually don't mind it. It's not that difficult. The enemies are nowhere close to my stuff, so I feel okay. Could be much worse, but the attacks are gonna be pretty chunky. So we still need to be mindful, we could get overwhelmed. But with the extra forts, I think we will be very well set up. I'm gonna have to uh, position these javelins here as well. They will have fairly low morale, but... They don't take many casualties, it's fine. And have we managed to man these stars ever? No, because I need to open this up. There is another army in there. I haven't gotten new people in ages. Okay, our units are arriving. But the Carthaginians are streaming in. And their infantry is actually quite competent. We'll see right. Okay. Yeah, we managed to do it, and this army has been seen off. Brilliant. Yeah, go back. I'm not gonna remove that blocker, by the way. Map maker made it sacred. <laughs> What's next? Just another block. Probably a pretty soulless one as well. Mm, I don't really think I can use this much currently because the enemy armies are coming through here quite frequently and I would have to rush my units over here, which is not viable. I would get other. And the attacks seem to be happening. Okay, yeah, it's this place. This place is fine. These do come in from here. It depends if they try to move out a level. Maybe the towers can shoot them. Does it look like it? Now it is shooting at them. I cannot build a tower there. Let's try. Okay, so get on temples and the army is gonna refill. Good. Keep constructing things. Don't necessarily need the pop just yet. Leave them to it. I said it was a very heavy military map, so I know what I was uh, to expect. These guys aren't really very smart. They will drift teams will drift feed themselves their towers. That's okay, they can do that. I won't object. Well we construct our glorious monument. And yeah, when it's done, it's gonna buff out our Yeah, they lost all the freaking infantry and the elephants stay here. 
Throw base less wages. Okay, great. We have fluctuations of tech of wages. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna just remove this so that we can actually expand things. Then we are gonna have to send what like, journaling in it. Move the elephants from a pager. Okay. Might be a little more than I accounted for. Like five elephants, something like that. I'm gonna send the reinforcements. Might be chain up. It happens, it's really bad. Oh no, it's fine. Fine, I was just scattered with elephants, but they are a little crap. So I can get a block in here. It's not gonna be a pretty block, but it is going to, going to work and it's not going to impact any of the enemy pathfinding basically. We just clear up the trees. Be mindful that we don't remove the blocker, which the blocker is this. But then can pretty much remove all of this. And then figure out how do we want to build a block in here. It's gonna require water, which I can give it from over the cliffs, especially when we get the Neptune Temple. Okay, a Legion. Legion is gonna be pretty big, I think. This is like fifth attack by the Caesar or something like that. But at this point, the attacks become quite huge. But we have some extra tires as well. That'll be fine. Well, I want the genetics. Just everyone. It is absolutely huge. I need my legionaries to arrive here. I go, okay. It's a lot of horns, yes it is. A lot of Caesar's horns. Didn't work out for him though. Shred it. Go back. Neptune Temple. Yeah, need to keep constructing that. Unfortunately, they killed some of the merchants. I should build a caravan sarai, I think. For the extra caravan. Uh, I could also give them food, just throw it here. Okay. Farms. There's also fishing. Maybe we do fishing instead. Yeah. Eat the donkey's fish. Fine. Everything is gonna be just fine. Do it like that. And then an engineer and we literally put this off first. So I should probably stop the Neptune for a little bit. Get some marble, construct the caravanserai. Okay, another army, it's coming from there. I don't have this staircase, so towers here are not a thing. It's gonna have to be just I can damage our pure army. That can be fine. Uh, I think all of them have correct formation. Start blocking them down in here. Slow the game down.
Okay, it's everyone. What happens? Well, I know what happens. Also, I, I'm gonna go and grab myself a drink. So I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna leave it on like 60% speed. back so yeah they have come him in just let them come here it's not a full size attack i don't think might be something like 80 uh invasion size which the very hard difficulty also does increase it by 30 percent i think but be okay i'll come back i'll come back to more attacks okay yeah, just deal with this and then send our forces around to defend that. Fortunately, the enemies are gonna just beeline it for us. There's no like waiting, really. Just instant attack. The good thing is they might actually share morale. Okay, we can defend here if they are very close to this. Offens are still on their way. And how much marble does a caravan sarai cost? Six p. Okay. Okay, these guys are just running away. I have a bad position though for defending this. But I'm gonna try it, I think. I mean, it will start arriving sooner than others. Like that. There's a in it. Search of one. Legion and. Yeah, I might have set up here. Uh, even actually better, I think. Now my killer is probably gonna get slaughtered. I'm gonna lose quite a bit, but it's okay. Maze. Hey, good buddy, welcome. Yeah, that is a maze. You have to go through it. This is like the tower defense map, basically. It's like that's how the map feels. I'm pretty sure the map author has designed it in such a way. On purpose. Let's get a policy. It's gonna be more experts or more capacity because uh, when they come here, I need them to trade as much as possible. Could we also import marble from sea trade routes? No. It's fine. Don't need it. But I need this Grand Temple to Neptune. So let's start making it again. Mars Temple plane as well. Okay. It's sort of necessary on this uh, on this map. It's a very 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 heavy military. The Civil War map as well, so you cannot get favor. And uh, insane requests are gonna cause you to hemorrhage uh, favor, no matter what you do. Also, there's fluctuating, increasing and decreasing wages, so it's just 
Point plus micro, always love that. Okay, uh, what do we do next? Another block. I could fit one in here, I think. What I wanted to do. Yeah, and uh, I need the temple to be done first, though, I think. Because I need to be sure that I can actually reach it with the reservoir. Okay. No cakes in the game. Yeah. Unless that is an earthquake. I think we are very well set up. There can be an earthquake. I wouldn't be surprised by that like at all. Also I I suspect there is going to be a gladiator apple. We had one in like the past six maps we played. Well, I don't see why this one would be any different. Unfortunately, this time I haven't actually built any gladiators. There is an arena, but it actually doesn't have gladiator combat. It has lions. I don't know if, it, if it's gonna count that, but it should. Yeah, there's no, no time to plan a new block. I could do it, it's just... I need the temple to Neptune first. I need to know where does the new reservoir reach and Welcome to the Blender on this episode of Will It Blend Caesar's People. Yes, it blends. Okay, go away. I need 12 more marble. Wait until it happens. Need some traders. Which the Caesar always murders the traders. The problem. Oh, that is insane. So all the natives. And of course the tax right. Come on, Neptune. Needs more marble, of course. Marble. We'll get it. We'll get it. And then we should do, if we can, we should do an oracle somewhere. Make sure the girls are fine. Okay, it's almost done. We have some spare labor. I think I'd like to experiment with a few towers. Funer is Praetorian. Oh well, Caesar uses his blue voice. Come here. And it's basically uh, generic, but he is stronger than any of your legionaries. So it is like a Praetorian card. But Caesar, like speaking, historically speaking, Caesar 3 actually isn't like accurate. At this time there was no Roman Empire, so there was no Praetorian card, it was a Roman Republic. And most of the Caesar campaign actually is set when the Caesar uh, when the Rome was a republic, so there was no empire. Senate. There were ruling consuls, but uh, like speaking about historical things, and then uh, comparing to Caesar gameplay is actually not that accurate at all. Blue scutums and armor as Octavius legions. Yeah, uh, I mean yes, but. Caesar actually, like the game, isn't actually historically accurate, so you wouldn't get uh, invaded by Praetorians in a Republican times because there was no Praetorian guard. Let's get the obvious blessing. And then um, let's take a look at the reservoir reach. I could water quite a bit from this side. Problem will be, yeah, I'm gonna have to build uh, quite a bit of these. I could just sneak in an aqueduct. No, this is a one tile gap. I only can have a road or an aqueduct. So people would have to come through here, which isn't that terrible, I guess. Blue Caesar, red Caesar, purple big fat, tax collector. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's build ourselves another block. It's gonna be not regular. I think that's good. We don't want to see 
regular soulless blocks all the time, right? Even though we managed to pull up one on this map, and it's the coastal one. It is beautifully soulless. Love it. Okay. Flood. No floods here. <laughs> Our curses don't work on me. Uh, okay, let's take a look at how many spaces do we have. Like four. Not too terrible. Uh, this is going to be terrible though. Like this block. Yeah, I already hate how it looks. Uh, it might become like unmanageable in terms of wall curse. Which that probably will happen. If that happens, I'm gonna have to give them extra services. I hate. So we'll see. It becomes too much of a bother. I have to figure out something else. Just <laughs> yeah, I don't plan the shape like visually. It's just uh, to fit things around it, right? But I guess it sort of looks like a freaking Christmas tree. Okay. Get things and then take a look at the reservoir. Okay, I think I like this one. And then we can have a fountain even in here, which means I could get a bunch of houses in here as well. But that's good. These people will need all sorts of things. They might even require two sets of things. That would be a little, little bad. Also, let's take a look at the bathhouse. Like that to be there. And then how are we gonna feed these people? I can just bring food from there, it's fine. But that means granaries and warehouses are gonna be here. And I have that perfect venge feng shu on the rocks. Yeah. Okay, it's the bugged attack site, but we have opened it up. So, uh, what's our stance? Okay. I would have to fight them here, preferably. But I don't think I can do that. Okay, just send them here then. Fine. Fine, it's just a lot of clicking. I really don't want to rotate them though. Because then I would have to rotate them again to fight Caesar off. So the first thing for me is the rotation. This is not the number of attacks, I'm fine. Because uh, if there are a lot of attacks, it actually is fine. Because eventually the map maker will just run out of attacks. There is only so many you can queue up. And this feels like he's running out of them pretty quick because there are like two attacks per year. So I don't suspect he's gonna have more. Get rid of Mars, kill some of them off. A whole bunch of Jebliniers, so gonna be useful. Yeah, just clobber them. And yes, of course, the legionaries never actually arrived. Perfectly useless, as always. But it's good to have them. On this map, you can have them. They're not super great, but also the invasion points are not like in our face. So, you can at least give them a shot. We haven't used them much ever, so... It's good. Show off how awful they are. Legion attacks. Legionaries need to go here. They even, yeah, they haven't managed to get far at all. We can just go here instead. And then I have some extra units. Just pile them in here as well. This is certainly the biggest Caesar attack, but a lot of towers. So a lot of these guys are gonna get shredded by the towers.
which that is probably the sole reason we are surviving these attacks. Constantly weakening their morale as well. Hey, on the computer. What do you think your odds are? I think they are good. I think your points are safe at least this time. Economically speaking, we are totally fine. The only thing that can go wrong is if there is a massive earthquake or great revolt and it counts the arenas. I assume 100%. Ah, uh, how am I? Ah, uh, good. I was at work today. Uh, at an overtime. Not great. But overall, not bad. And you? Okay. I'm going to water these people, but I need others to move in first. Perch. And we have some surplus people again. What do we do with that? Can we get some cheeky tower somewhere? If they attack from there, they will just this path. Yeah, having things here would actually shoot at both. But I think. I don't work today. I'm going fine. Okay. Have you been streaming something? Something interesting, perhaps. Mana is basically not a concern, so we should just make use of that. Levy is not a problem. to sneeze, sorry for that. Uh, yeah, that looks fine. It's not fine as food situation for these guys, but wharfs and farms should supply two types, so we should be able to get them to grant and supply. It's gonna be a little difficult. People are coming, I should start making the wharfs and the farms, I think. Take a look, wharf. Granary. Gonna do the fish granary in here. There should be more. It's gonna be horrible for the engineers. They don't like squiggles. Do some vegetables. It's going to accept uh, fish. Farms. Start over here. Vegetables. Then we should get getting granaries. Get vegetables, this is gonna get fish. Then you'll need markets. It's got like three of them. We should prepare repair a house. Already another attack is on its way. 
was great. Okay, let's start getting other resources in here. It's gonna be timber or uh, furniture and then um, oil. Fetch some vine and then oil. And the markets should not distribute wine. Get them at theater. Grab the outrage. Cool. I still don't think we'll need many more houses. We should probably build a Grand Temple to Venus. We can get it. Almost can, but not there, okay. Oh. Uh, would be fine to just get it somewhere else. I don't really need this. But maybe there is a better spot for it somewhere. Could be an emergency block site. Boost, but I think I'm gonna be able to fit in everyone I can and need in there. So we should just build it somewhere in here. It will require a road connection, of course. Always bad. We do like that up. I need a book right there. There. Oh no, I can't. What's this wharf? Uh, okay, let's do that. And then I'm gonna have to get like an engineer in there. I'm gonna have a road. And he always passes by the wharf. It's still horrible, they will come across this bridge, but I need to go there. Keep doing this thing. Always so incredibly hideous. Connecting everything up. But the game's, game wants it. For us to be able to construct the monument. So let's do it. Venus. Let's, let's keep a space. Okay. And uh, we should do a work camp. And an architect's guild. Guys, I'm gonna pile in more houses. Granaries, I'm gonna do extras for getting. Vegetables, fish. Get things. small towns. I'm gonna deal with them just not right now. I could actually start doing that. Okay, let's get a fountain these guys. Then they will want guards. I'm gonna give them Neptune and the other one we have. Constructing Venus. Gonna be pretty important. And then we have Mars, but Mars is not necessary. I'll cover both of these. Get that. That. I can get their own water. From there. I'm gonna do plaza. Get them an outfit theater. I'm gonna struggle to build everything I need in here. 
bad and a skull on her. Good pattern. And give these guys like some time. To actually finish the finish the Grand Temple to Venus. Remove that. Remove the tavern here and then it'll be an arena. Gonna give it a lion. Get some small statues. Got a statues rather. And I have to statue this heavily. They will also want a library. I could give them a library in here. It's gonna have to be instead of one of the houses. Okay, so I'm gonna need why. Yeah, these guys are doing great in terms of desirability. It will solve them once we get the temple to Venus. But yes, we are building it. Takes ages. Also, our temples we are lacking. Get a bunch of oracles and then um, an engineer. We should stop the Venus temple for a little bit. So, where are the enemies from here gonna come? Yeah, they will just go here, but we can't fight them in this area. What's up? Haru, by the way, I haven't seen you around for a little while. Let me see, it's Legion attacks, okay. That has to be fixed eventually. Might be able to just deal with these guys and send our guys over. But it needs to happen now. You lark mostly? Okay, no problem. No problem at all. And then I'm back. Because the kiss coming next. Yeah, because the kiss is right here. It's gonna be pretty mean to us. But I think we will be able to get there, if, uh, at least with the javelins, before too many of these guys come here. But it's gonna be close. Also, I wanted to say something else, I don't know what it was. I totally forgot. Uh, yeah, it's the biggest uh, Caesar attack. It's just to be killed like 30 of them with the towers. So it was one. Uh, Cartaginian attack, and then this. I'm not sure if the Cartaginian attack was actually the highest number. It looked like it was fairly sizable, but might be off. It's, what are the wages currently? I don't care about that. It's fine. Okay. Send everyone back to their forts. And um, yeah, I wanted to look at the Temple to Venus. We have paused it. They have built the oracles. We'll just resume the construction. Then see what happens. Yeah, 
yeah, it was a huge, huge attack. But there are attacks like constantly. You can hear the messages, it's just... Yeah. <laughs> I think this speaks for itself. This is like three attacks in one day. Like, uh, in one year. It's gonna happen simultaneously, most likely. <laughs> and we just beaten off two of them. So... I'm going to have to invest into some more towers. Everybody's favorite thing. Uh, it's okay though, we have some labor. Not terrible. I also don't want to go for patricians on this map, if I can help it. So... We might not need all that labor for other things. If we also wanted patricians, this would be a little rough, I think. Okay, so we have a bunch of towers basically everywhere. I could shift this workshop. I, I don't think I'm ever gonna use that farm space. Let's just do that. It is high ground area. Okay, I cannot get that. Belge tanks and then connect it with the road. So let's activate it. We have similar sort of thing in here, but there are natives in there. Classify them. But it's fine, I guess. I'd like to avoid that if I can. These guys hate where they live. Gonna be fine though, once we get to the Temple to Venus. Needs a bunch of marble. Red stage. Where's anger? Now the attacks are gonna come, I think. Gonna be pretty huge. What's our cap, by the way? Looks like we evolved that block fairly quickly. Yeah, 1300 people. Oh, uh, I'm probably gonna need another block though. It's not enough. There, oh no, these guys did devolved. Why have they devolved? Oil? Have I connected them up to something else? Why are they suddenly having problems? I didn't change anything about this. Oh, it's maybe, maybe it's the food. So it is to get and get. And this will get fish as well. Then you'll need to create an input granary in here. Remember? Mm. Try to pacify some of the natives. And like that. And farms. Doesn't have to be a lot. Some of them for input. And let's get a granary. Uh, right there. It's um, I cannot do it there. Of course not. It's uh, the natives. Uh, the pacifier would change pathing. That would be devastating. But, uh, do something like this. Then this can actually be connected. Not a big deal. But the road network itself is uh, incredibly hideous. So problems will certainly arise from that. Eventually. Also, this granary is not connected because their middle tile is closed off. Mm, how am I gonna solve that? I could just get this farm to be a vines farm or olive farm. Okay, the road. The road block and then engineer does that and then another one here. It's fine. Okay, where is the attack? here. I don't know where the other attacks are gonna come from, so let's just pile them in here. Yeah, all the noises. Sort of inevitable. So to beat it back. There's many many attacks during the same year happening all throughout the game, so a lot of micro, a lot of ordering units around. It's not the 
most fun thing ever for me was in terms of playing the map. But as I said uh, before, like I'm actually one of people who are actually quite resistant to these kinds of things. I actually like military stuff in Caesar. It's just even for me sometimes it gets a little tedious. Legion attacks, okay. It's gonna be four attacks during the same year because we have three uh, Carthaginian attacks queuing up, then we have Caesar. It's gonna be great. <laughs> yeah, my as banana is not happy. Fine. Everything is gonna be just fine. At least I think so. <laughs> At least I think so. Might go horribly wrong, but yeah. Need to believe. Yeah, let's go back. Need to go back. Another attack? Where is it from? It's up here. Okay. At least that's good. Okay. <laughs> it's just a little bit nuts, you know. Nothing insane. But that's and the legionaries as well. Hold them on top of the horses. I was playing Stronghold Crusader 2 today. But I know it and ended up playing Stronghold 2. What did I say it? No clue. Hmm. You should play Stronghold Crusader 1. Because if I play Stronghold Crusader 2 or Stronghold 2, I would get pissed and play Stronghold 1 or Stronghold Crusader 1 instead. <laughs> but every man has his own preferences, it's fine. But the older games really are better in terms of everything. The early 3D graphics didn't help Stronghold too much as well. But Stronghold 2 specifically isn't good. Like, there is. Like so little space to build, and I think the maps are tiny in terms of provinces. But if you have to split it with the like estates, not good. That's not good thing. Having the estates Oh no! What's the crunch? What's the crunch? What's the crunch? Uh, did I miss something? Is that an earthquake? What is this? Natives. Oh no, I I knew I, I would miss the pathing. Ah, uh, okay. Go back. Go back. Go back. I can do it. I can calm them down. It's just gonna hurt a lot. I hurt like crazy. The tribal, yeah. That's what happens when you have so many natives on the map, you inevitably will mess up the party. Ah, just go away, leave me alone. It's fine. Oh no, another freaking attack. Ah, uh, okay. Just send everyone here, I'm gonna have trouble with the economy now. Since everything got absolutely melted. They destroyed my freaking temple to Venus. Oops, bastards. <laughs> yeah, they they love to go wild. Also love to go wild. Unfortunately I cannot deal with them permanently. Otherwise I totally would in the true spirit of Roman nature. Just sell human beings. Just not deal with them them export, export into some other province to make them somebody else's problem. Okay. Go back. Let's take a look what they destroyed. So this was a warehouse for pottery. It's not good. It's fairly important one. Uh, don't get things. Uh, accept it. Any are. Mars and Mercury.
All this rebuilding is gonna be horrible. Okay. This was a warehouse for weapons. Also, I think my piece is gonna struggle. I'm not sure if the native uprising, like if they rise up and tear down and stuff, if, if it's a uh, if it's affecting peace, it might actually not. Yeah, I think it does not. What's this? Vegetable, 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 and oil. Olive. Okay. Very nice. We do that. Add olives. Okay. Let's go away. Freaking natives. Okay, the engineer, this is a uh, granite. Right? They've went quite far. Of course, not good. So this was vine farm, olive farm, vine farm, olive farm. Okay. And another olive farm, and an engineer. And this was mission post. Ah, uh, that's not good. Need him to spawn quick. Vine, vine, vine. Oil, oil, oil. Farm. Triple farm. This was oil workshop. I want to say something. It also so. I think I think it's more for a redemption. I don't want to talk about it without it. But I have a joke that was said during Caesar's time. Oh no! What was this? Markets. Ah, uh, okay. Horrible. For a bit vine, later. Warehouse. I don't even know what this was. So this was wine, I think. It's gonna impact my city for sure. Like, it's native. Uh, smashing was huge. It was oil and furniture. Furniture get 16 and accept 16 oil. This was statue and this statue. Okay. It's driving me insane as well, but I need to make sure everything's fixed up. Okay. Just come in here and get murdered. Who must be? Okay, let's go back to fort at least briefly because I'm sure there's gonna be another attack. Just momentarily. It did, they devolved, but get them all the required things eventually. It would be great if we could get some furniture workshops, but I don't think I can really. This is both to the brim. Could maybe get rid of this. It's not really necessary. You have two of them here. How do evolving finally? Good. Pigeon attacks. Okay. Uh, these guys devolved because of what? Oh, they smashed my line house. I see. How did they manage to do that? Vermont match on elephant meat and burn elephant fat candles and make elephant syrup. <laughs> yeah. There's so many things from the elephants. I think the Cartaginians are doing us a favor, but unfortunately, there is no resource. 
from that. So the only thing we get is salt. <sighs> All the attacks. I need a lion house in here. Gonna have it there. <sighs> yeah, eventually, eventually everything should stabilize again. I need them to build the uh, Venus Temple though. It's horrible that they managed to destroy it. And it, it was almost done, like it was third stage or something like that. It definitely hurts us a lot. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe a small casa block in here wouldn't be that terrible. Yeah, I know. Unemployment. Not good. What is our prosperity cap currently? 67. I could just get these guys furniture. Here to, uh... Vision of like just a Mitch going in the window and just watching armies marching out with, with all graves, graves, jars, people transport what's left and right now in Cena. Yeah, in the past actually people have been like scavenging battlefields fairly often for all the various resources, even during like fairly recent history, like 19th century, when there was like Prussian, Prussian Austrian War and Franco Prussian War. There would be people, and of course, Napoleonic ages. There would be people scavenging the corpses of soldiers for fresh, like undamaged teeth, because the soldiers would usually be a lot of cons conscripts of young age, so they would have fairly intact teeth. So that would fetch a very good price. Everyone getting that. I should also get this warehouse to get some wine. And then make a tavern we can. Our kingdom. Is that the Cartago for the opportunity? Yeah. I mean, the people at this time would certainly not just leave the things there for no reason. Like, if they could use them, the elephant things, they would, the corpses, they would certainly do it. But. The game doesn't allow you to do anything like that. Not there. And we should try to get a tavern in here. Gonna be a problem, I wanted to give these guys a uh, Venus Temple as well. For obvious reasons, but there's just no way for me to fit that. Another attack. Oh, right. Got a huge statue there. More attacks. Okay. Gonna be just fine. The capacity of housing in the city. These guys are evolving. They would want a freaking library though. Remove that. Library. You won't get fine anymore. Cannot fit everything I would want in here. Maybe now it's actually safe to build the gladiators, but I'm sure I'm gonna build them and then... Oh yeah, that terrible thing now happens. The gladiator evolve. If there is one. Which there might not be one. But do we risk it? So far it has worked very well for us, I think. It's like a normal city, it's scary. Does it? Some of these blocks do, because I cannot build a soulless design when the map is rugged like this. Which is the thing that's actually fun. Most maps I make, or even map like this. And you cannot pull off the soulless blocks. But I'm talking about all the time, rambling, you know. This sort of stuff, because if you compare it to this, this is a soulless block, right? And this is its equivalent, when you don't get to have uh, 
big areas of open land without any obstacles. Very, very different, and it's not as effective, so. Definitely, I think. Yeah, they hate where they live. Fine. Suspect, as always. Actually, I kept one unit in the reserve without knowing it. Okay. So, again, girls are getting feisty. I have to build more oracles. Doesn't went bad. Not sure what you are talking about, but we do have plenty of bad people, just not our people. Carthaginians. Go here. Can I also clear up these trees, I think. I should actually make sure we send everyone. Don't underestimate the attacks. They are just happening constantly, by the way. It's like absolutely insane. Yeah, I okay. The map really wants us to die, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Time is so nice. Oh yeah, I, I totally forgot. I haven't played much of Stronghold 2 at all. <laughs> Let them come. They will meet the blunder. Okay, it's down here. Well, that's not good. But I still need to kill some of these elephants, I think. I'm gonna start sending some units over. Yeah, they are retreating, okay. Put the game down. The legionaries are not gonna make it, I don't think, but we should still send them. If the fight goes bad, they will be good. Crazy, yeah it is. A lot of attacks. Especially since... I, I bet Caesar is gonna come back. Even with his forces. Because he's attacking pretty much constantly. And we cannot raise the favor, there is no way to do it. So... It's gonna happen. A uh, bunch of unemployment, I need to solve it. What do we do? I could just do missionaries for labor sponges. It's gonna do something. And then you'll need a block. Okay, another attack. Our units are most likely gonna just morale break from all of this. I think that's what's gonna happen. Okay, how do we how do we deal with this now? I am going to just uh, build a bunch of palisade, I think. Just try to delay them for as long as possible. But they are gonna munch through it pretty quick. Get at least a few towers. Fountain for employee sponge. We did with Baron. I'm not using fountains. Uh, if you do fountains, it's how much? It's Four people, or is it six people for a fountain? It's two people for a fountain, but it's four if you do not have Grand Temple to Neptune, I think. 
So it would be 4x4, which is 16, while the mission post only takes 4 spaces as well. And it does take 20 employees. Better. It's also much less of a pain to actually build them. I always do that if I can. Yeah, it's uh, Baron does that, I think. Baron uses. Uh, Baron tends to use uh, fountains. I'm gonna send my javelin units back here. At least some of them, I think. <sighs> These attacks are getting a little bit obnoxious, I'm not gonna lie. Also, my guys are probably um, not having great morale since they have been staying in the field for several years at this point. I'm gonna send the cavalry as well. It's a lot. Okay. Well, horrible. I'm gonna have to send more units back. And then just leave to the Genetics to deal with that. But still, this is very bad. <laughs> Getting a little bit obscene. They might be morale breaking though, because they might share morale. I think they do. They might have shared morale here. Yeah, he was a. It's <laughs> the exclamation on how crazy this is. It is quite crazy, militarily. Yeah, Caesar is gonna come soon, I know. <laughs> That's a given. Ah, third stage, let's hope nobody shreks it again. Gods are still pissed. Gonna have to do something about that. Oh, cool. Yeah, uh, okay. What do we need to do here? Yeah, more labor sponging. Look at all these natives that need to be pacified. Building. For various, very good reasons. And then, yeah, just see what happens. Go to this temple. Get down eventually. I can, somewhere. But I already made them in many places. Some of these are infested by natives. So it wouldn't work, really. I could get some extra ones in here. But, uh... Yeah, maybe I should. I'm not sure if there are gonna be any more attacks. Because I suspect the mapmaker might have run out at this point. This might have been like the last thing he tried to kill you. I don't think there's gonna be more. More stuff. Yeah, we could pacify the natives, I know. We could pacify the natives. If we weren't lazy, we could do it. Are we feeling lazy? We are, but we are still gonna do it. Let it happen. Actually, should stretch it a little bit. It sounds like a true nihilist. You mean me? I'm not a nihilist. Um, right, maybe we could get even more towers in here, and I don't think they will actually go after them because it's outside of their like immediate path, so they would probably not. Go and destroy that. Caesar's way, yeah. We already have plenty of towers there, but we could still do more. If we could get it so that he dies without us having to contribute anything militarily, that would be the dream, but... Problem with this is... There aren't that great many spaces. I could fit some towers in here, I guess. 
gonna be like insane amount of towers. I could just delete some mission posts that are redundant. Vanity, you're right. <laughs> you can still hear the trumpet in the nightmares. Yeah. We are gonna have one last concert. <laughs> Why do I even open the map? The other swords. That's the pain train incoming to our face. Uh, why? Furniture. Yeah, I would benefit greatly if I could just not have these things here anymore. A bunch more workshops. Is the line for attack? Yes, they do, but they also mean how many attacks there are. That's one, that's the second one, and that's the third one at once on the map. That's how it has been for ages, like basically since we started. <laughs> and it does mean if there are one, two or three, it's how close they are, but locations, like the lines, are actually indicating an attack. Uh, separate one. Okay, let's... Uh... No, I cannot really do that. I'm gonna also need rock camps. I guess I'm gonna get some in here. Okay, what about our population? I think we had some devolutions again. That is not great. I'm gonna wait until we have the temple to Venus. Yeah, we'll just go purify that will. Gonna happen. But it's still gonna require us to send the army after it. Yeah, I don't think we can just sit back and let all of our towers do it for us. It's not yet, maybe one day. Scorpion launched projectiles, uh, big missiles, like a giant arrow. It's like a ballista from medieval period, but uh, Scorpion actually used different technology. Uh, like in sense of historical accuracy, this is not how Roman Scorpions would look like. It wouldn't be a big crossbow, that's how ballista in medieval age looks like. The Roman Scorpion, I'm gonna actually show you one. I think if I can find it, I think I can find it pretty quick. It used torsion engines on the sides. It wouldn't have the arms of the bow. It did have just big packed bunches of horse sinew or other rope that would be twisted and that would conserve your energy and it would be just big like spools of this on each side. Yeah. They didn't have the arts of the boat, that's what I said. Just a moment. It still has the bow arms to an extent, but it's nowhere near as much as you would uh, expect from a ballista. So let me just switch it. Mm, not to this. The long play boat. I hide this. I'm gonna do display capture for a little bit. Take a look at this. So it looks like <laughs> BBC cat you share. No, not really. Uh, that would be the other weapon, like the multi-shot uh, scorpion. Actually, was a thing that was used by Greeks. Yeah, it was not big. You can see this is a. Uh, 
fairly accurate like size comparison I think something like this yeah. but the Greeks did have a weapon that had like a magazine for something like six bolts and it would shoot these bolts in fairly quick succession it was like a scorpion but the Romans did not use this as far as I know also it probably had a lot less power in each shot so uh, inherently it wouldn't just be as strong and probably very very expensive to manufacture these things were not cheap Grand Temple is done. Take the obvious benefit. And see what happens to our city. What happened? Why do you not have water access? You had it before. Did I lose a reservoir? Maybe this one didn't work the whole time and I need to make one somewhere else. But I cannot water these people now. It's puzzling. I could swear that I had it before. Let's just get a reservoir here then. And then see where we can get it. Oh, uh, okay, there. Magic, yeah. I just cannot tell why this happened. It worked before. That does not work. Is it my grand temple to Neptune? Isn't working? Oh yes. Ah, okay. I know why now. Get rid of that. Everything's gonna be just fine. Now we are missing labor, so why don't we get rid of a few of these? I need to replace them eventually because we will still need labor. Or uh, we'll have surplus once people move in. Okay, these guys are still without uh, water, so I'm gonna have to replace that fountain. Once that happens, I'm gonna also set up a small block somewhere. I'm tempted to try it here, but I would have trouble bringing water to this. Also, this uh, road is now not necessary since we built that. Are these French workshops working? Yes. But we could still do better. The French is actually a big deal. You know, maybe Mars Temple to these guys would actually help out quite a bit. But uh, I don't have a place for it. Not have it. Uh, what does the population advisor say? I'll need more. And there are still attacks, so I cannot really use this yet. I could just use this. I could also get water to them through here if I don't have these two farms. Which I can have the farms elsewhere. Population is getting old, does it? Hmm, not really. Look at the census. Yeah, a bunch of people are 50. Some of them are 60 and 70. But we have a lot of kids and 20s. Oh yeah, there's a gap there, but you know, should be fine. We also have a bunch of new people moving in. So this should bring some fresh blood to the system. Get a reservoir and another one. Uh, 
Ow. Ah. It might have destroyed some of my stuff. The worst. Okay. Militia's under the front line. Yeah, unfortunately, you cannot have militia. You could have had prefects, but that requires space as well. It doesn't look like it killed any of my housing. At least last time it did. It's fine. So what I need now is just a wide block, I think. Maybe something like this. Need that many people at all here. Keep some space for services, and we'll be getting them some food. It's gonna be fish, I think. small castle. I might have to do insulate. We'll see. There is an attack and another attack. They both come from up here, so at least that is that. But I'm gonna have to rotate my units for like first time in ages to fight this off properly. It's two armies at once, so it would be very very bad to die at this point. China blocked. Proceeds to erase whole housing block without removing the actual obstacle. <laughs> yeah. Guess these things don't change. It's horrible here as well, but you know, this one was actually fairly okay. Oh no, it was not okay. It killed this <laughs> Okay. Yeah, might cause some problems, but we managed to catch it fairly early. <laughs> <laughs> Same. <laughs> Where is this coming from? Okay, it's here. Well, it is still horrendous. How am I gonna solve this? I think just a uh, metric shit ton of palisade. Okay, <laughs> be with you. Yeah, this is like a Greek god of under underworld. That's for me, yes. Ares is Greek god of war. Romans had their equivalents. Pluto, I think, right? For under underworld. Another attack, it's coming from here, okay. Just the map refuses my existence. Uh Oh, they also melted my army. Okay. Well, I'm just shrank them. Two army at once. Uh, one from here, one from here. There's no way I'm gonna defend that. My army melted. You know. Just 10 units. Of uh, trained soldiers. Yeah. You have to uh, save and load this a lot to try and micromanage this. And even still, it might not actually work. Yes. <laughs> Fine. 
Everything's gonna be just fine. We can rebuild, right? <laughs> yeah, you could. You, you actually could rebuild this. You actually could. But I'm not in a market for that procedure. What the wool from free? Now we can actually run with 150,000 denarii in our pocket. You'll go into that if you do that. Oh yes. Do it. Hmm. You got through Our first dead by the way. Try to make these new funds last longer. <laughs> <laughs> he was sending armies at me the whole time. Now he realized, oh you are a dead. I'm gonna suddenly communicate with you. Let it happen. Oh, wait. I think this might have been the last attack. Yeah, there are no more attacks. If we have survived that, the end. The map looks stretch. The mini map. I am most displeased. Despite all the funds I invested in your city and the Senate's generosity with credit. You have let me down. Your city has not repaid the funds it borrowed. My faith in you was misplaced, and I am forced to find another governor to take your place. <laughs> Perhaps okay. you will fare That's uh, that's all the prediction. Like somebody has won a bunch of points. Yeah, they probably would wander at least a little bit. And yes, the autosaves are borked. We cannot go back either. Fine. We can maybe. No. Uh, I want to like look at the map, but it's probably from the construction kit. Yeah. So the final attack it was like five attacks at once. Which actually wouldn't be that bad if we managed to kill like one of them really quick. The rest of them could morale break, I think. But still, it is like over the top insane in terms of military. We did have plenty of towers, it's just not enough. Oh yes, it does, but I resolved the prediction. I've lost that. I would just try to beat that final attack again, but I cannot go back. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, over the top having a military map. Many many people would consider this map a no-no just because of that, because it's absolutely insane. I gave it a shot. I'm not gonna play it again, uh, because I value my sanity, but yeah, for anyone that is into that kind of thing, you can get the map on CCP Haven under the name Wallace Fathorum, made by Carp. No. Give this a shot of on your own if you wish. Now let's take a look. There are some people playing something. Planners playing some transport fever. I guess you can take a look at that. So let's rate color then. And cheers.
Hey, Marek has raided us. A party of seven. Perhaps he heard there was jazz and decided that he wanted to be a part of that action. Hi, right, Marek. Uh, the game you're looking for will be on tomorrow morning, Eastern Standard Time. So sometime around uh, 2 p.m. or so. Do I relax with this game? Yeah, it's so horribly slow at the moment that uh, I really just get to sit and watch the things go by in, uh, at one speed. Economically challenged? No, it's not. On normal, you, uh, you do what you do in open TTD and you're fine. The game is only challenging later on when you have to do things with trucks, and then you just rip your hair out and pretend it's not that you're not playing the game anymore. Trucks are stupid, they have always been stupid, and they shouldn't be in the game. Can't have normal, can we? Yeah, if you play on very hard, then the game gets unreasonably difficult. Uh, mostly because the game's... Uh, hold on, this music's a bit too loud on my end. It's making me speak louder, which is not a good thing. Okay, there we go. Yeah, on very hard, this game is not fun, uh, period. Maybe if you're a logistics engineer and you take pleasure in uh, dealing with tedium. Yeah, uh, not really. In Transport Tycoon, there are no private vehicles, which means the trucks are their own worst enemy. Uh, which is not really the worst thing in the world. Uh, trucks are a failure in Transport Tycoon. If you can't deliver something directly where it needs to go by train or by dock, you've probably already done something wrong and you should not be using trucks. Trucks are a stopgap to make money. They're not a good or reliable system. Just like in this game, uh, trucks are awful. Trucks are awful at every stage of the game. There is never a point where trucks are superior to another form of transportation. Their main virtue is they are almost immediately profitable hauling basically anything over a medium or short distance. And that's tenuous, we'll say. Uh